Picture this. The year is 1945. World War II has just ended. Nazis are being held accountable in a series of military tribunals known as the Nuremberg Trials. These proceedings, taking place in the city of Nuremberg, Germany, were a watershed moment in history. They marked the first time that individuals were held internationally accountable for actions during wartime. 24 major war criminals were indicted, including high-ranking Nazi officials, industrialists, and military leaders. Charges ranged from crimes against peace to war crimes and crimes against humanity. Defendants were faced with evidence of their heinous actions, including the orchestrated genocide of six million Jews during the Holocaust. The verdicts were varied, with 12 defendants sentenced to death, seven receiving prison sentences, and three acquitted. The trials were not without controversy, with critics arguing they were merely victors' justice. However, they undeniably set a precedent for holding individuals accountable for their actions during war, impacting the formation of international law. The Nuremberg trials also led to the creation of the Nuremberg Code, a set of ethical guidelines for human experimentation. This was a direct response to the horrific medical experiments conducted by Nazis on concentration camp prisoners. So, the Nuremberg trials set a precedent for international justice but not all Nazis faced the repercussions of their actions. As we venture further into the aftermath of World War II, we'll discover how some evaded justice and the relentless pursuit to hold them accountable. As justice was being meted out in the haunting backdrop of Nuremberg, a thunderous storm was brewing across the mighty Atlantic. The United States, in a cloak-and-dagger move, embarked on the controversial and clandestine paperclip. This covert mission had one audacious aim, to recruit the brainpower of German scientists and technicians, some of whom bore the infamous Nazi badge, onto American soil. The ultimate objective? To harness, to exploit their unprecedented knowledge and expertise to gain an unassailable strategic edge in the chilling shadow of the approaching Cold War. Over 1,600 of these German masterminds, scientists, engineers, technicians, were swept away from their homeland and planted firmly in the United States under the veil of Operation Paperclip. Among these intellectual giants were the pivotal figures behind the awe-inducing V-2 rocket program, a creation the likes of which the world had never witnessed. Their unparalleled knowledge, their unique skills, proved instrumental in propelling the United States' own rocket and space programs forward, shaping a pivotal role in the intense space race that would come to epitomize the Cold War era. Operation Paperclip to this day remains a fiery chapter in history, a stark reminder of the convoluted complexities of a world emerging from the ashes of war. While some Nazis were being recruited for their expertise, others were fleeing Europe through secretive escape routes. The shadowy network known as Odessa, a name thought to be an acronym for Organization of Former SS Members, played a significant role in these escapes. Odessa's reach was extensive and its operations covert. Ratlines, another key element in the escape strategies, were systems of escape routes for Nazis and other fascists fleeing Europe at the end of World War II. These routes mainly led towards safe havens in South America, particularly Argentina, Paraguay, Colombia, Brazil, and Chile. Other destinations included the Middle East and even as far as Canada. The reasons behind such escapes were manifold. For some, it was the fear of retribution or legal consequences. For others, it was an opportunity to continue their ideological struggle elsewhere. But how could so many escape justice? The answer lies in the covert assistance provided by sympathetic networks, individuals, and even governments. From silent monks to unscrupulous diplomats, a range of unlikely alliances facilitated these escapes. Even countries that had been enemies of the Third Reich during the war, like Argentina and Egypt, became refuges for those fleeing justice after the war. These escape routes allowed hundreds of Nazis to evade justice, but not all would remain hidden forever. The pursuit of these fugitives would span continents and decades involving dedicated Nazi hunters, international tribunals, and even the Israeli intelligence agency, Mossad. Enter the Nazi hunters, individuals dedicated to tracking down fugitive Nazis across the globe. Among the most renowned of these was Simon Wiesenthal, a Holocaust survivor who dedicated his life to bringing Nazi war criminals to justice. His relentless pursuit led to the capture of numerous high-profile figures, such as Franz Stangl, the Commandant of Treblinka, and Sobibor extermination camps. However, the path of the Nazi hunters was far from smooth. 
They faced numerous challenges, from the lack of cooperation from various governments to the vast and secretive networks that aided fugitive Nazis. Despite these obstacles, they persevered, driven by a deep-seated desire for justice and a commitment to ensuring the horrors of the Holocaust were never forgotten. The tireless work of these Nazi hunters ensured that many fugitive Nazis were brought to justice, long after the end of the war. Their efforts serve as a testament to the enduring pursuit of justice, even in the face of overwhelming odds. Justice, as they say, knows no time limit. Even decades after the war, trials against former Nazis continued. One of the most notable cases was that of Adolf Eichmann, a major architect of the Holocaust who was captured in Argentina in 1960. His trial in Jerusalem was a defining moment, bringing the horrors of the concentration camps to the forefront of global consciousness. But the pursuit of justice didn't stop there. Into the 21st century, legal proceedings have been initiated against remaining suspects. These late trials often involve individuals who were lower-ranking officials during the war, yet their roles in the machinery of genocide were no less significant. The relentless pursuit of justice, even decades later, is a testament to the gravity of the crimes committed during the Holocaust. These trials serve as a reminder that justice, however delayed, is still possible. The post-war fate of the Nazis has had a significant impact on popular culture. This chapter of history, with its elements of justice, evasion, and secrecy, has provided fertile ground for storytelling. It has inspired a multitude of films, books, and television shows, each offering a unique perspective on the events that unfolded after World War II. Movies like The Boys from Brazil and Marathon Man weave narratives around Nazi fugitives, while documentary series like Hunting Hitler delve into historical investigations. Books such as The Odessa File and The Rat Line have further explored the escape routes used by Nazis fleeing justice. These portrayals have played a crucial role in shaping our understanding of this period. They bring to light the complexities of the aftermath and the relentless pursuit of justice against those responsible for one of history's darkest chapters. Popular culture continues to be fascinated by this period, reflecting our collective desire to understand and remember. Unfortunately, the legacy of the Nazis persists in the form of neo-Nazism and far-right movements. These groups didn't materialize out of thin air. They were born from the ashes of the fallen Nazi regime, carrying forward its toxic ideologies into the modern era. The rise of these movements can be traced back to the post-war period, when remnants of the Nazi regime found fertile ground in societies grappling with economic hardship and political instability. They exploited these conditions to sow seeds of hatred and intolerance, echoing the same narratives that once propelled the Nazis to power. Neo-Nazis and far-right groups often romanticized the Nazi era, seeking to resurrect its brutal ideologies under the guise of nationalism and patriotism. They continued to pose significant challenges to contemporary society, spreading their venomous beliefs through social media, public rallies, and even violent acts. These groups have not only found a home in Germany, but have also spread their tentacles across the globe, from the United States to Australia, demonstrating that the ideologies of hatred and intolerance know no borders. Governments, civil society, and individuals worldwide face the daunting task of combating these movements, a battle that necessitates concerted global efforts and unwavering commitment to human rights and social justice. The persistence of these movements reminds us that the ideologies of hatred and intolerance, unfortunately, did not end with World War II. Despite extensive research, many questions about the fate of the Nazis and their stolen assets remain unanswered. The narrative of the Nazis post-World War II is a labyrinth of shadows and secrets, a puzzle with pieces scattered across the globe and hidden in the depths of classified archives. In the years following the war, a significant number of Nazis managed to evade justice, disappearing into the folds of history. Some lived out their days under assumed identities, while others are believed to have hoarded stolen wealth. The precise location and extent of these assets, much of it looted from the victims of the Holocaust, remains a mystery. Ongoing research and recent discoveries continue to shed light on this complex aftermath. For example, the opening of previously classified documents has revealed startling insights into Operation Paperclip, the clandestine program that brought Nazi scientists to the United States. Similarly, secret archives in countries like Argentina and Egypt have unearthed evidence of Nazi escape networks and havens, 
Yet for each answer we find, more questions arise. How many Nazis escaped justice? Where did they go and what became of them? How much stolen wealth remains hidden and where might it be found? As we continue to uncover the hidden histories of this period, we are reminded of the importance of vigilance against hatred and tyranny. The story of the Nazis after World War II is not just a tale of the past, it is a lesson for the present and a warning for the future.